right, so we're going to find lateral angle surface area of a cylinder. And let's go ahead and look on your reference material. You see where it says surface area. And we've already worked with the prism formulas. And now we have cylinders. Um, so what is lateral surface area again? Okay, 
So we're going to use this part for lateral and then total to include our basis. So let's look at our first example here. The very first step is being able to identify the solid. And so all day today, we are going to be working with a cylinder. The cylinder has two bases and the height connects your two bases, right? So identify it, let's go ahead and label it. And what is the sh what is the shape of our base? Good. It's a circle. That's important. And in this case, I we're going to find um, the total surface area. And so, what formula is total surface area? Who wants to read that one out? start with our formula and then we're going to substitute in our numbers. So we're going to do 2 pi, we're going to use the pi button, unless it says to use 3.14. Okay, what's our radius? Okay, 4, here's your radius. And what is the height? Good. Plus 2 pi, what was our radius? 4 squared. And then you can put each side into your calculator if you want. So now we're going to start solving. 4 times 12 is 48. Right? 48 times 2 is 96. So we have 96 pi for our lateral. 4 squared is 16. 16 times 2 is 32 pi. What's 96 plus 32? Yeah. And then there's many ways you can put in your calculator. I just want to have a calculator with me. So 128 times pi is going to give us total surface area. <coughs> better not to do pi until the very end because you'll have like if you use pi here it'll be decimal some big long decimal and another long big decimal again. All right let's look at our next one. Sarah's trying to determine a new size for a, the chip can. The original can is shown below or to the right. How much cardboard would be needed if she changed Size the gray portion of the can. All right, so we know we are working with a cylinder. Shade the base, so we have our base here, right? And then what is only with what we're working with? We just want the gray portion. We know the height connects our bases, right? So this is, I guess, the table this as our base, right? And then what's our height, our base to base? Are we good with that three inches now? And so what is right here, what does this represent? What is this? That's diameter. Good. Do we have diameter in our formula? What do we have in our formula? Radius. radius. So our radius is good. You got it. All right. And are we finding total or lateral? Yeah. 
Let's read the question. How much cardboard would be needed if she changed the size to the greater portion of the can? We're going to go with total. I know if it was, if it said it was a Pringles can, it would be lateral, right? Because the top is plastic and the bottom is like metal, right? It doesn't really specify. Let's just go with total. All right. So we're going to find total. And what's our formula for total? Okay, so in your quiz on Friday, you do get to use your record. <laughs> All right, um, so let's go ahead and start substituting in our numbers. Two, five, we said our radius was one and a half. Our height is three inches. We just want the great portion. Plus your two bases, two pi radius of one and a half squared. Okay, so let's do the lateral here. Start with area first. So two times three is six. Six. I actually have lateral on here. I guess we're assuming it is a Pringles can. Yes, Pringles can. Let's do that. 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 Let's do